And funny enough, Maniac's in-game tag, Nair. Wonder what True. movie's gonna do the most right now. Well, I, I, I need faces, I need faces. Who's who? Um, Maniac is the Ike, the Afro. Afro is Ike? Got yes. It. Thank Got you. it. Thank you. Thank you for saying Afro. <laughs> All right, there we go. I, I had to find a way to like put it in like terms I can use. <laughs> Listen, I love afros. Of course. True. Dude, Sourdough is setting up a lot of pressure with the Phantom thus far. Yep. 64% now on Maniac, but coming back with that falling up air, covering everything on that platform, I'm pretty sure. Like, all your options were covered there. Mm -hmm. And I do want to note that we, we have started PS2, which, okay, as we've said before, this is a zoner's paradise. Thank right you. It's, it took me a while to realize it, but I'm just like, this, that ain't a neutral stage, bro. No. No. <laughs> nah. It wasn't just Zelda. It, it was all the zoners. They all said, yeah, PS2 is a neutral stage, guys. Let's go to PS2. It's not the biggest stage in the damn game. But Maniac right. is bringing things to even percents right now. Looking for a ledge trap, potentially. Not able to find the late up air, but Sourdough not able to find the forward air either. Was that F tilt? Yeah. Yeah, that was just F tilt. Yeah. Maniac is really good at mixing up his recoveries though, but it uh, and he gets up right into the Phantom. Right. Even game again, only twenty percent on Sourdough. That's not really anything. It's ultimate. You start the game at like sixty. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, getting the late up tilt combos for Sourdough, and yeah, just these like PSP platform especially, are just so good for Zelda, who's really going to be able to just sit under them and start charging phantoms because the platforms offer so much coverage. They do. Maniac being patient at the ledge the right falling there. Falling up there. The Into another one, and that is going to take the second stock on Sourdough. Zelda is decently light and oh, okay. tries to go for the yeah, suicide. Maniac went for it, and I respect it. Y yeah, sometimes you got to do it. Keep your opponent honest. You get that situation, you win the game. And even if it doesn't work, like, that's fear that's in Sourdough's head right now. Definitely. Like, all right, I cannot be put in that situation again at all. Nope. Well, that's a wrong way Phantom. And Gets punished with, with the up B. Nair into up air. Not going to take it just yet. Looking for the forward air offstage. Not going to find it, though. All right, Sourdough just looking for a raw uh, F smash, trying to close out this second stock. Yeah, Maniac's been living for a very long time. Looking for like a forward air, back air, something. Ooh, what, right. what, what did he get though? He's saying gotcha, but what, hey, what did he, he really get? Countered the Phantom, but. Yeah, Zelda is just sitting there like, okay, cool. Nice counter you got there. Yep. All right, bringing things back to even stocks right now. Great anti air up tilt to set Maniac up on the platform. Yep. Up tilt coming through, not gonna take the stock just yet. Looking for that dash tag at the lunge. That definitely would have killed too. All right, instant dash attack to get out of the corner there for Sourdough. Sourdough is definitely still in this, but these ledge traps just keep coming. Maniac's been playing the ledge very patiently so far in this game one. Going out for the forward air, not gonna get it. Now you're at the ledge again. Now you got, oh my God, a great roll from Maniac to get past both the F smash and the Phantom. But still, still getting hit with the forward air. That lightning kick, that still hurts. All right, Phantom clearing some space for Sour to go to do to get back. Sour onto spots the on the oh, that's wait. oh my the god! Aether hitting. You know what's funny about that re about that interaction? I was surprised that it worked, but I realized that it was the armor that got him through it. Yeah, because like there's a win box on Phantom when it's fully charged, but I don't think it came out there, and I guess he just armored through it. Like win boxes are low key really good against ice recovery. Oh yeah. Or like anything that like pushes you away, like Mario's Flood, free edge guard. Gone. On it's actually kind of funny. Oh, we've got yeah. replays back, by the way, so you guys can screw around with it as much okay. as Okay. Well. Oh, nice. Yeah, those are, uh, that was a funny little way to end game one. But game two, we are going to go to Hollow Bastion. 
They're both yep. switching their skins up. Yep, Hollow Bastion, also a very good stage for zoners. Similar in concept to uh, PS2, where the main platform just offers so much protection from aerials, especially against a character like Ike, who, you know, it's in his tag. He wants the Nair. Wants the Nair. All, all of his aerials are really good now, too. It's oh, like, absolutely. Like, up air, that move is, that move is messed up. Ooh. Eruption getting rid but of the Phantom. But everyone, everyone's saying, yeah, Ike's a fundies character, which he is sometimes. Still some BS in this kit, though. But that's just ultimate in general. Mm -hmm. But so far, Sourdough has not gotten to really set up camp underneath that Hollow Bastion platform. Finally getting one Phantom off, but the quick draw, just putting but, Maniac yeah. right into and center that stage attack. where he can get the kill. A dash tag coming in. That dash tag, powerful. But the thing is, they buffed that move. It used to, it kills earlier now, and I'm just like, why? Did they need Ike to have more kill power? Uh, the move already killed you like decently well. I don't think kill power was what Ike was missing, to be honest. Thank you. Yeah, once again, they also the made Uppy into like a kill move for no reason. And once again, the quick draw into center stage, Sourdough just really hasn't been ready to cover high recoveries. And I mean, I get, you know, especially against Ike, you don't typically expect high recoveries because he doesn't quite have, like, great horizontal movement. But Maniac's been getting away with these quick draws for free. Oh, yep. okay. Down tilt. Not going to find anything off of it, though. Yeah, Sourdough got off easy there. Definitely. I, I feel like I saw a back air coming, but... Ooh, back off. All right, never Dash mind. Dash Tech not going to take right. it just yet, but that Finally. Tins Fire coming through. Finally able to catch a high recovery. So we're starting to see some adaptations coming out from Sourdough, and now Maniac's going to have to you know, think a little bit differently about that high recovery. Definitely. And now you're... He's like just outside of like the nair up air percent range for that to work, but ooh, ooh gets out of the up B, so that might have killed too. 130 now. It, you're still heavily bleeding if you're sour, sourdough. Oh, ooh. don't worry, I, Ice Up Smash doesn't kill people. <laughs> yeah, that's it's that's actually really thing. funny. That's the one move of Ike's that doesn't kill, but no, we need to buff dash attack. Yeah, what? Let's give him more buffs, guys. Thank God there's no more patches. Um, there should have been one more, but yeah, I'm not yeah. going to go well, into it. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that one. Yeah, no. Nah. All right, Maniac now lapping Sourdough in percent. Sourdough just has not been able to play the stage at all. We've been seeing a lot of phantom setups, but they've mostly been at, like, the other side of the stage. Like, see, right that, that one right there did cover the platform, but didn't quite offer a lot of protection. Yeah, with that down air coming in, not going to take the stock just yet, but that forward tilt will. Yep, catching the aggressive uh, Nair from ledge, and that is... Uh, Maniac moving on to top eight. Yeah, great stuff. Very interesting. Maniac played that game really well, too. Mm -hmm. Just like Punishing the Phantom at point blank range, really good. Somehow getting through that counter, that was something. Yeah, it really feels like what it came down to was Sourdough did not set up enough situations to where Maniac felt like he had to fear the Phantom. It felt like every time that Phantom was coming out, Maniac was throwing hands. Definitely. So yeah, great, great stuff from Maniac.